One of the questions that I get asked all the time is, should you do free shipping for your Shopify store? And if so, how to set it up. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be covering in today's quick tips Shopify video. So one of my most watched videos on YouTube, as well as most requested topics is always about shipping because if you do it wrong, it can end up costing you a lot of money. And a lot of times people want to know, should they offer free shipping for their Shopify store? If you go to any online e-commerce provider, you'll see that everyone seems to be doing free shipping. So it's kind of becoming a little bit more industry standard, especially with options like Amazon Prime, where they have free two day shipping, it's kind of becoming where customers are kind of expecting it. But should you do it for your store? And the true answer here is that it really depends. It depends on your profit margins and your products. If you have really heavy products that cost a lot to ship, then it's probably not going to be worth it for you. Or if you have very slim profit margins, then it may just cost too much. So you really want to think specifically about your products as well as where a lot of your consumers are purchasing from. If you are, let's say on the East coast in North Carolina, and a lot of the people that are buying your products are on the West coast in California, that's going to cost a lot more to ship from coast to coast, where if a lot of your people are more purchasing locally, then it's going to be a little bit cheaper overall. So I really recommend if you've already been accepting orders online that you look at where a lot of your average locations are as well as your average shipping costs and you figure out then if that's doable for you in your price range or maybe you even include the shipping in the price so that way you are covering your costs a little bit. A tip that I have for if you do decide to do free shipping is to make sure that you're getting them to spend just a little bit more to get it. So for example, I would do free shipping over a certain dollar amount. So if a lot of your products are, let's say $25 each, you may want to do free shipping for orders of $50 or more. That means that they would have to get two products to actually get the free shipping. So then you're getting a little bit more profit before actually eating some of that shipping cost or you may want to have some kind of smaller upsell product. So let's say your products are normally $40 and you can do an upsell smaller product of $10 to then try and get them to that $50 mark so that they get the free shipping then. Again, you really just want to think about your profit margins and make sure that it makes sense for you and that you're not going to end up actually losing money on every order just because you are offering the free shipping amount. So in terms of how to set up free shipping for your Shopify store, this is actually really easy, but a lot of times it can be a little bit confusing for people. So let's hop into my computer screen now and I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. First, you're going to go to the settings area in your Shopify backend and then click on shipping. And here you'll see at the top different areas about different shipping rates. So you're going to click on manage rates and you're going to add in your rate there. So this is going to be where you're actually shipping it out to in terms of like the continental US and you can add in a condition there on the order price. So this is where you would set up the condition of free shipping over $50. And so anything over $50 gets the free shipping option. So you can go in and add different, different shipping rates there as well as add flat rate shipping rate prices as well. So if it's under $50, you can do a flat rate fee of seven dollars or whatever it is that makes sense for your business also i really do recommend to probably not do free shipping for international orders and to make sure that you're still charging for international shipping because that's where it can get really really pricey so until you feel really comfortable with adding in free shipping and you're used to doing this and seeing that it's not ending up costing you more money i wouldn't turn on free shipping for international orders just because it can be a lot more complex and typically cost a lot more so I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. We've got more Shopify quick tip videos like this coming out every single Tuesday. You can view the whole playlist of quick tip videos over here. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. I post videos every week all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.